Katie McKay Simpson, clergy, Louisiana Conference. I respect the right of my sister who previously spoke to um, bring forward that which she thinks the body needs to consider. Uh, and her reading on uh, church law and deep concerns that I, I'm sure come from the spirit of her heart and love for Jesus. Uh, but we are in Christian conferencing and there is a deep diversity of perspectives um, on this floor that we continue to grapple with in Christian love today. So as she brings hers forward, I also uh, rise for a point of personal privilege um, to call us back to 2016 whenever another um, request was made and uh, ask for a declaration, a declaratory decision for um, a bishop in the Western jurisdiction, uh, Reverend Dr. Karen Olivito, uh, to be made. And it was a step outside of our powers, a step outside of the spirit of who we are as United Methodists who respect the ministries of others and the discernment of other bodies um, as they are called to do. And we on July 15th, 2016, in Wichita, did a great amount of harm in sending that request forward to the Judicial Council. It spurned on a, a myriad of struggles legally, practically, and emotionally for both uh, Bishop Olivito and her partner, Robin, and for the whole Mountain Sky uh, Annual Conference as they continue to grapple with these concerns over many, many months. And so I, I'm mindful today, just as we are still in conversation together, and as many years and so much time has passed, uh, I'm mindful that today we are often very good at the kind of process of politics and conversation and, um, and uh, the, the holy work that we do in its technical term, but not necessarily uh, are we very good at doing the work of deeper collective confession, of deeper uh, collective reflection and often having the collective courage to ask for apologies that are needed and in my mind and our minds are deserved. And so I know we can't do that by resolution today, and it may not even be necessarily needed or appropriate, but you can see those that are standing behind me and I'm sure others that are in the pew today that would share this spirit of concern as we reach out to uh, the Western jurisdiction and continue to say, as maybe others stand, continue to say, at least for those of us that would make that witness, we are sorry. We are so sorry for the harm that we have done. I pray that God would continue to grow us and deepen us in our trust of each other as we move forward in the new birth of a vibrant church. Thank you. Thank you.